interrelated piece. And uh, I'll let you decide whether it's a positive or negative piece. I used to believe in miracles. I used to believe in miracles until my older sister got sick. She was the cornerstone from which the foundation of my world grew, being the bedrock of my parents' pride and my tree of life, her electrical strength, supplying the entire family until one day it was replaced with a coarse, phlegm-filled cough and just like that, it was all over. Where she once had her entire life ahead of her, she now saw the future falling apart with every successive loss of her dying head of hair. With each apparent patch of baldness marking another decade of life lost, things continued to collapse on her until she became a trunk rooted to the repeating beat of a computerized heart monitor. Mm. The day they removed her breasts, she jokingly told me, I guess I'm more of a man than you are now, brother. But unbeknown to her, she was. She was more of a man than I will ever be. She was more of a man through every tear she silently shed as they stripped away fragments of her womanhood. She was more of a man through the aggressiveness with which she fought harder than the doctors did, fighting every cancerous cell in her body, fighting more fervently with each strand of her hair that she would clutch in her bony skeletal hands, her breasts, serving as left and right punches to every assumption of her life's expectancy, having every chemotherapy session, becoming a march against death's beckoning with the fire in her resolute eyes, denying every number and statistic that they spewed across the memories within her mind. She was more of a man than I was, and I believed in miracles, or so I thought, but, just like that, it was all over. Mm -hmm. She didn't want us to see the yellowing in her skin and eyes as her organs filled her one by one. She didn't want us to see her doubled up and hunched over figure after throwing up into her toilet and the signs of blood coughed up being hidden behind her stain covered palm washed clean of any evidence that underneath her favorite bright scarlet and sunflower colored scarf were patches of dead skin, scars of the war raging across her body that each eventually disappearing finger and toe was another prayer unanswered at God's doorstep. Every pill popped, another missed shot at medical redemption, and the cringe from every syringe, a painful reminder of her daily struggle that each wrinkle, furred with sweat and dirt, was another signal for the carrying of her casket. She was a broken woman with nothing to fix her. Stripped searched by x-rays and scaffolds in the hopes of stopping the murderous assault against her body, she became the loudest quiet you would ever meet. Isolated in a room with a deafening silence, forgetting what it was to be my sister while learning what it meant to be infected with radiation, I came to realize that I refused to wrap my arms around her because I didn't want to acknowledge the gaunt, psychologically starved, skin dried against her very ribs frame of my sister, forgetting to see that she was a bald-headed beauty that shined with the glory of the rising sun every morning. I became confused when she told me that they had missed the lump in her right breast, saying instead that they had removed her heart, until one day she turns to me overdosed with grief and softly says, Brother, this is it. And just like that, it was all over. Mm. Thank you.